I have the new About Face foundation. This is the Performer Skin Focus foundation. I think I grabbed the wrong shade on accident. So I got the shade D2 Olive and D2 Olive is deep with olive undertones. The shade that I was I should have got and that I thought I had got was a deep shade. I think it was uh, MD3 warm. It is medium deep with warm and yellow undertones. So yeah. Okay. This retails for $22 at Ulta Beauty. I think you can also get this on the About Face website. This comes in a bunch, a bunch of shades and it's a uh, coverage meets skincare and the skin optimizing foundation formulated with powerful ingredients like agave, wintergreen, corella known to help uh, fill Help, help skin feel moisturized, balanced, and smooth. This is vegan and uh, cleanly formulated. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> Here's what the bottle looks like. Kind of reminds me of Physician's Formula, their foundation. But they have, I forget the name of that. But I'm hopeful that this shade is not, let's just hope that it works. But here's what the tip looks like. It has like a slight curve on it you see it i guess where it's easier to stick it in <laughs> stick it in here and slant on your face a little bit better oh i kind of like the way this feels and i don't know how many ounces this is this is 32 milliliters 1.08 fluid ounces i'm gonna go in with hmm I'm going to use a sponge on this side, and then I'm going to use a brush on this side. Okay, I've already applied some over here. And it doesn't have a smell. I, I don't remember how many pumps that was, but so far, this isn't looking as bad. And I'm just pouncing this all over my face. Oh, wait. That didn't sound right. Oops. Okay, so here's the side with the foundation. And let me zoom in so you guys can see. Hopefully the color doesn't look oh, as orange. Because it doesn't look as bad, I guess, in the tube. But, hmm, shoot. And if you do not want your concealer to crease, I would suggest to not apply it. I... I always apply mine underneath my eye, but that's just out of habit. But I'll try to do it on this side so you can see what I'm talking about because it just makes the concealer uh, seem more cakier when you add it on top of foundation. But here's this side, and I absolutely love the finish of this. It is... Um, it feels it feels very lightweight but yet coverage and i feel like i could build this up let me try it on the other side and i always like to put the foundation in where i have the most problem prob problem areas <laughs> Ooh, okay let's just see how that one looks and i'm just going to take a brush i'm going to use this guy and blend that in just kind of like tapping. Swiper, no swiping. See? Oh, okay, wow. so this is how we're looking with the foundation using a brush on this side. And as you can see, of course, when you use a brush, it doesn't pick up or take away any coverage, but like the sponge will soak up a lot of product, so. I, I like to use a lot, <laughs> but because of course it's not really matching because of the tone. Oh, I might have to go in and and try to fix it and stuff. Hopefully it'll look better once I put everything on my face. So I'll be back after I finish. Okay, guys, uh, this is the final look with the foundation on. Uh, I do like this foundation. I would definitely purchase this again. Uh, this is supposed to be a long wearing second skin. 
buildable foundation and I felt that it was giving that. I just need to get it in another shade. It, I, hopefully, maybe because of the lighting, it doesn't look as orange as it did when I first applied it. But I, I'm definitely going to go exchange my shade. And I'm kind of happy because now I feel like I don't have to really buy the House Labs because I do like House Labs foundation, but it is very, very pricey. And I'll probably just stick to this one in my right shade. Comment below if you are going to be picking this up or are you interested in anything from this brand. I have a few products from this brand and I like the lip glosses that I have, but I definitely, definitely would buy this again. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you're going to buy this or not. Bye.